Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Woe Long Fallen Dynasty. In the last one, we did all of the submissions that had become available to us. Um, and we also discovered this nice attack that I like using a lot. Um, right now, we are currently using the Phoenix Divine Beast, so I thought it might be a good idea to switch our Ice Weapon to Flame Weapon. Um, because we, I think we get bonuses with while using the Phoenix to the fire weapon stuff. Like it costs less, it might do more damage. I'm not exactly sure on that second part. And I also said we were going to use the scimitar a little bit more again today, so we will be doing that. So let's get started. We're back in the next main battlefield. We are looking for Dong Shuan. Something is dying. <laughs> Is everyone an enemy here? Reinforcements? We're saved. For the time being, let us fall back to the rear. We need to find General Sun at once. Okay. If we use this, it seems we could turn the tides in our favor. My body is at its limit. If we use this, it seems... Okay. So I need to figure out... I. It seems like the people on my side don't actually have health bars. I think they're just invincible. Oh, here's a... Oh. Oh, wow. That sucks. I hate everything. Oh, who shot ice at me? Okay, I actually got staggered by whoever shot that ice ball, and it got me hit by another attack that killed me. Who is shooting the stupid ice balls? <laughs> okay. Where did the ally- oh! You, you're the nerd who's shooting ice balls. Where did my allies come from last time? Stop moving like that. This map feels a little bit laggy. Yeah. Look at this. This map's got too much going on. So I think my allies are maybe coming from the other side. Not exactly sure. Should have gone for someone else here. I went for the weakest guy. Ow. 
I hear battle going on, so they must be coming from somewhere, right? Oh, you throw things? I didn't dodge that effectively. Oh, you protected him when he did something stupid? I didn't protect that. Oh, no. Hey, you want to help? Any, any of you guys want to help? It doesn't look like it. Man, this is annoying. These guys just protect each other with critical blows constantly. Ooh, a new pole. Uh, I guess it's not new. Alright, nerd. Now it's a 1v1. What are you going to do? Okay, well, that went poorly. What are my moves here? That one that kind of retreats you. That one's actually pretty cool, but I don't know how good it is. Alright. Let's see. I hear battle. So let's go try and help. How do I get up here? So he just fights this boss no guy more. out here. Must fall back. He must have somehow accidentally have pushed him into there. The like of such a warrior. None save Lubu would stand a chance. Your assistance <sighs> is most welcome. <sighs> so, so we just leave this guy here? <sighs> But it says there's an enemy, like, right here. Oh, it's still counting you as an enemy? Is something going wrong here? Like, what are, what are you doing? I'm afraid to report that my son, Swansea, has rushed ahead and got stuck behind enemy lines. I would plow through all of them myself and retrieve him. But there are simply too many of them. Oh, well, you want to come with me? However, I believe you would be capable of it. What say you? Can you find my son and bring him back? Drag him if you must. I'm quite able to handle myself out here, but Bofu is in... I'm quite able to handle... But Bofu is in grave danger. Okay. That's the guy in the cutscene who was just running forward to try and get the enemy general's head. He had, like, the dual halberds or whatever. From two episodes ago. Oh, we're lagging again. It's kind of like a weird lag, because the game is still smooth, right? It just goes slower. <laughs> I don't know if I know of any games where the game just starts to move slower. Everything turns slow motion when you're lagging. Maybe it's the snow, actually. Maybe I'm not lagging. There's an enemy, like, right here. Ah. That didn't really go how I wanted it to, but that's okay. Effective. It might be better against bosses. The problem is that it goes so high up in the air that half of the move doesn't actually hit them. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you can do that. A repeating crossbow. Okay, how many enemies do we have here? This seems like the only point of doing this is to get that item down there. Or that flag. But I don't know, that flag you might get to from somewhere else. The chest, I see the chest now. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm leaving. Oh, hello. You caught up. Yeah, so these guys have six morale. I only have two now. Um, they hurt a lot. I think you're meant to come back when you get that flag above them. Oh, you jerk. like instant use the critical blow, huh? Pot. That's good because I don't have any. Good thing that other big guy that I aggroed over there didn't follow me. Probably can't jump over this. Yeah, I think you're once you grab that flag up there, you probably have enough morale to fight these guys down here. Dongjuo armor. What does that do? I got fantastic form achievement. Damage taken in perfect condition. So if you're full health, you take less damage. It's not that good. I guess with all the healing that we have though, it is kind of decent because we'll be at full health more often. Oh, you can't climb this. Probably can't climb this either. Huh? All right, where was that guy that attacked us? I'm sure he did not die. Can't break those. Huh? Ah, that guy. Wait, does this just go to the flag immediately? This map's kind of confusing already, huh? I'm sure it'll all come together, though. Yeah, okay. You're also six. Yeah, I mean, in 1v1s against those little guys who stagger, I can usually just lock them from doing anything. So, is this a side path or no? It appears like it, but it could lead around. Probably has flags in it, certainly, though. Like right there. More 
more steel. Okay, let's go this way. Ooh, this has a mini boss. Let's peek at what level this mini boss is. Ooh, this mini boss is a little strong at the moment. We'll be back when we get more morale, I think. But it seems like everything that I'm fighting has too much morale at the moment, so... Really can't make this? See, now we're going back towards the main road. Uh, so... I mean, it seems like you can go down this path without running into any enemies. You just go that way? What level are you, then? Five. I mean, you're at least probably fightable. I missed that first dodge because he was too far away, but then I got him on this, apparently it had a second hit, so I just went for another dodge, which was lucky. Yeah, I mean, if I was going to take a bet, because it seems like this is slightly higher level, then they're trying to force you to go that way and go around. Like if I'm just going purely off of level design. Do you not be so loud? Out, that's all. You can run your mouth once you're strong enough to slip up and still win. Okay, okay, I get it already. I'm going back on my own. I've had enough trouble from you for one day, Bofu. Okay, so that's Bofu, apparently. Sorry for all this. I'm going to have to take this brat back to our camp. You'll be able to take care of things here, I trust? Open the garrison gates with the mechanism up ahead, and our forces will be able to advance through the pass. The enemy general will stand in your way. You could be in for a tough fight. Be on your guard. Could you breathe quieter? I'm trying to talk to this other dude. Open the garrison gate and our force. The enemy general will... So is this the guy... Is this the guy who was looking for Boku or not? I can't remember what that guy's name was. I'm going to run back really quick just to check. Because now it's going to be the easiest time to run back because there's no enemies. These two guys are gone now, so. Alright, let's continue pushing forward then. Do I go to that side area? I'm around five now. Problem is, I just still don't have my buffs. I don't get my fire buff until eight. I have that one buff that makes you take double damage or whatever, but also, or I don't know if it's double, but you do more damage and you receive more damage. Oh, there's a path down here, huh? Oh my gosh, you're 13? Alright. Don't think we're supposed to go straight into there. What level is stuff here? 20. You're level 6. You're manageable. Yeah, it's definitely laggy. Ow! 
Who's helping you? Holy. Okay, I don't know who that was. Initiated an invasion. I don't know where he is. I'm assuming he'll hunt me though. Oh, he's on the map. Is he coming? I can't tell if he's moving or not. Something is fighting somewhere. There's also that guy still shooting arrows at me. What level are you? Eight. Is there any way I can sneak around you? Yes. Oh! Now you show up! <laughs> yeah, I am very slow. What is going on? This battlefield is very laggy. Oh, you're both coming, huh? Uh... Oh, these guys are no longer here. That's terrible news. Alright. Ow! Threw a rock at me? If I can get out of this big guy's aggro range... Maybe I could just fight you. You're only level 5. Oh, hello. Apparently you... Oh, that's another rock. Okay, got him. Alright, could have gone better, could have gone worse. I should probably check what's down that other side path, because this seems a little difficult. Isn't there a big guy around here? Yes. You're 14? Oh, jeez. Okay, this doesn't seem like the right way to go right now, then. What about over here? This map is weird. It's trying to force you specific directions based on enemy level. Oh, you're fightable, but I don't know how to get up there. I think I have to be over here. It's trying to force you certain directions based off of enemy level. But I don't know where. Oh. Okay. Like this, this is very much within my level range right now. What does this do? Okay, you only have three arrows. Well, I'm using one on you. I Could you stop? Who fired that? Where are you? I don't see you. I can't actually aim at that. Oh. oh. Ooh, that did all my health in one hit. Where are you? I don't see where this guy is. Oh, I see him now. He's on his own ballista, like, right there. 
That didn't work. I think I took out the ballista, though? Huh, okay. How do I get up there? That's so stupid. Oh, I didn't think you'd just immediately go for another attack. Oh, hello. Did he like fall through the floor or did he die? I guess he died because there's an item here. This item or this enemy detection is actually quite useful when there's someone trying to gank you like that. Like I would have just thought that that guy couldn't attack me. Can I see anyone? I can see you. still an enemy there? No, maybe they were just taking a while to die. Oh. Wait. That almost worked. I think if I try it again, it would actually work. I wasn't trying to jump when I hit the platform. Oh, wow, that actually works. Okay. That's level 11, that's a little bit above my pay grade at the moment. Wow. I feel like I should have been able to make that. <laughs> Maybe from this thing? This is an interesting mission. It's got a lot going on. Oh, I can't look far enough over to see that guy. Strung bow achievement. So that's the boss down there. I can't seem to get a sight on him. Yeah, I don't think that hits.
It says there's other enemies. I think I see that guy, but I can't quite get over to him. The other enemies must just be further along. I guess I just can't hit this boss. Not that I would want to, I think, because he's like level 20. And he would probably just murder me if I did aggro him. Oh, this guy. Also, apparently this was level 7. Maybe I already said that, I don't remember. But it did not take level 8 to get my flame buff. I feel like we're making pretty good progress for being in an area where we're not always high enough level for stuff. Okay, someone's shooting at me. Where was... Oh, that guy. Can't hit you from here. Can I hit you from here? Oh! Where is that? Holy, I don't see it. Am I blind? It could also be a render distance problem. Right there. I'm not getting any reticles though, so I don't think I can hit you from here. What? Is that the same guy? Oh, come on. It's like the slow motion is messing me up sometimes. Look at this. <laughs> there's just too many effects on this mission. There's snow, there's fire. Yeah, I can't make that. Like, I see him. He's right there. But I don't think I can hit him. I think I need to go back. Cause like the only guy in front of me is level 14. He's kind of scary, but even killing him doesn't really help me progress. I don't think I need to kill this big boss in the middle. I don't know where this invader is at either. And then that guy is still there. They're level 13. Let's check out what's this other path. Oh, I can also go back and fight this now. This might be good, because if I can beat a flag, I can get my health back. Maybe even get my heal pots back. Oh, you keep coming this way? Kind of expected you to just turn around, honestly. I'm just gonna wait. Patience. Oh! <laughs> okay. Didn't expect him to just be like, oh, I see you. 
Is that invader coming? I'm scared of the invader just ganking me all of a sudden. Because last time he like didn't do anything for the longest time and then all of a sudden he was behind me while I was fighting someone else. Another letter. I feel like he'll come from that. Oh, there's a chest right there? I didn't see that. How do you get up there? Like, he's pretty much like right ahead up here. How do you get up here? It seems to think that you could climb this. How does that help? Because like the stuff that you could climb is usually marked up with the white, right? Like, how? Am I supposed to shoot it with one of the crossbows? But the crossbows are all broken. Can't seem to get on top of that either. be some way to get up there. Maybe a ramp or something? We've seen a few ramps already. I want to get a critical blow. For some reason, critical blows do, like, extra damage to people, and you get all that health back. So, like, if you hit someone with a critical blow while you have a healing thing on, you get bonus HP. I guess that didn't do as much as I was expecting, but it's still good. Can you not come down here? Okay. Hey, we avenged Garman. Straight out of Bloodborne. Okay, there's one more enemy around the backside of this. Like, there's no ramp that drops from here. I don't understand. We'll figure it out. I mean, maybe we just have to go, like, down a little bit and then something comes back up. Could also be it. Ah, it's an archer. level 10. Well, that's not good. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of mad that he just spotted me while I was... Seem like you can climb this. That gives us all of our heals back. We have a lot of chi. How do I get? There was a tower over there that had an item on it. How do I get that? Probably just like this. So, 
I don't see a path to get to that chest. Oh, maybe this. Yep. I was I was thinking earlier that those looked breakable, but both of those ballistas were broken. So I didn't understand how you would shoot at it, but there was also a ballista there. It does only have three shots. I wonder what happens if you miss the three shots. I I suppose that probably the shots come back if you rest at the thing. Dragon vein essence. Okay, that's pretty big. This makes it so... I think it just makes the pot stronger. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going this way. Because it seemed like earlier they were trying to force us this way. My character pulled out their swords. Tells me there's an enemy nearby. But usually it only happens if you're locked onto an enemy. Or if you're in combat. Where is this invader to? He's somewhere over there, I think. But I can't see him. Enemy... Can't climb this. Okay, there's a flag there. I think that thing might be the thing I'm in combat with. I can't tell. A lot of lag here as well. How do I get there? Oh, 16, huh? Okay, I'm... Oh my gosh, it's moving so slowly here. We might need to turn down some of the effects. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it is, but it feels like that's what it is. It's a dragon cure pot. Okay, let me get to a safer place. And then let me see if I can turn down some of these effects. Uh, graphic settings. We're on best performance. Can't go any lower. Shadow render distance is already close. Don't know what that means, but it's off. kind of have everything already on, like, low. I don't think there's anything I can do to make it better. wonder if it's just my computer thing, or why this is a problem. You have the option to go down there now as well. Does this all connect? I assume it has to connect to the other area we were in before. Literally, these guys, only 12. Is 
that the invader up there? Is that I think that's just a flag. Yeah, these guys are only level eight. Shoot at here. This has very limited range. I feel like you can't. Oh, you could have shot at the tiger though. Ah, I see, I see. So, unless I aggro these guys, they don't seem that aggroed. That guy right there. Okay, you're annoying. Yep. I need space, so I think I need to kill these guys. Oh, that guy burned to death. Oh, hello. Wow, is that guy's render distance really that low? Okay. Correctly, there's a dragon cure pot down there that will try and make use. What is fighting me? You. All right. that correctly. I knew it was coming that time, but... Oh, you actually got that hit off? I disagree. Okay, what is the point of this? To shoot that, probably? Oh, that's what he was trapped on. Oh, I didn't think you could just run up that way. You're standing in fire, sir. That was bad. Okay. Now what have we unlocked by going this way? I think it would aggro both of them. 
you come down here? Yes, yes you do. Yeah, this kind, of, this kind of a lot of directions to go at the moment. We're still not at level 20, so I don't want to go fight that boss in the middle quite yet. But we are at 16. Granted, it's only a temporary 16. Our real fortitude is only at 10. is really lag. Can't tell what level that guy down there is. I'm really making the most of this enemy detection thing. Like right now I know there's no one over here so I'm not as worried. Okay, here's another boss. designed for you to get like a sneak attack on that guy. Ah, this is designed so you can kill that guy. Okay, that doesn't work. I feel like I'm kind of cheating forward in the mission though, because I skipped all that stuff down there. Does this door open? Yes. He almost detected me while I was still in the stupid little cutscene for opening the door. didn't really explore down there yet. Like this little area, that area where the boss is. Ooh, I think we go back down. The problem is I just, I can't die now, right? Dying now would be really bad because it makes it so all these enemies come back to life. So we just gotta play good. Oh, I want to go get that extra dragon cure pot. Okay, 
Okay, this also gets us up here. Hey, you can't go back that way. You are just straight up level 20. You seem to be made of sterner stuff than the lad from earlier. Good. Is this still not enough to break you? How could I? The soaring Ursin's leader! Oh, that's not what I wanted. I was trying to activate, uh, the Phoenix. Oh, I missed that. That's really bad. Alright, that was clean. I was a little bit worried about that. We got a level 4 mace. Why can you shoot at me? That doesn't seem like an angle that Ballista should be able to shoot at. Okay, so I think we just take this flag. We have 104,000 chi at the moment. Would hate to lose that. Don't know if we can open that. I doubt it from this side. Especially since there's so many ways over the wall. Oh, he's not actually... The arrows are getting stuck. I see. Okay, is there anything I missed over in this area? Because I didn't really explore this thoroughly yet. Kind of just went up that thing. To get over. But I didn't go down this canyon yet either. Should be within my reach, level wise. This guy's tough. Okie dokie. So how do we... How do we get up on this thing? Get that item. I guess right here? War Maiden. I don't think we've seen that set before. Okay. We need that flag. How the heck do I get that flag? I assume climbing this over here will get me that. So now we're back here. Should only be a few enemies left. Kill. Let's start with this. stuff. Did he not drop anything? I guess not. Yeah, let's get to a safe spot. Let's check out what this War Maiden stuff is. We gotta get close to wrapping up the episode. What does this do? Spirit sustainability. What does it look like? 
Looks kind of stupid, not gonna lie. Armor of Rampancy. That looks really cool, actually. But it's very heavy. So, Spirit... Okay, hold on. Let's just do it like this. I hate that it scrolls. Reduces Spirit Damage received when at full HP. That makes more sense than reduces damage taken when at full HP. So what were we previously using? This. Which makes our burn a lot easier to build up on people. And this also keeps us in the blue. But this piece of armor, like, super heavy. I think this new piece of armor looks really sweet. Not that one. This one. But it's only plus one, so its defense is kind of potato at the moment. It is more defense than what this was. I think I'll, I'll take it for a little bit. Let's check out what else we got going on. Uh, nothing of value there. Oh, this doesn't have a, a locked stat. You can see the first stat is not a full square like this one. So it must not be locked, I would think. It's way too heavy, though. Um, slashing spear spirit damage. These greaves. Oh, the, these greaves have burn accumulation. But it's not a locked stat. I'm almost tempted to, like, take these. Switch back to this. But they don't look nearly as cool. The greaves, they're just kind of lame, right? They're just pants that go kind of okay with the set. But this gives us a lot more burn accumulation. Yeah, but I think we end up with more defense if we do it the other way around. The Greaves actually aren't that much defense. Oh, we still have new pants that I didn't see yet? I guess just these. Any new weapons? Uh, we just got this mace. It has Panther's Grit as a special move. Check out what that is. How do I... Oh, it's already on it. Oh, we saw him use that. Where are my weapons? Not that. Here. Wait. That didn't hit me? <laughs> okay. Uh, accessories. We've only gotten this. Because we got that from the, the panda demon. Okay. So we want to finish up this area. I wonder if I could just break his ballista with this ballista. Oh, I can't see high enough. So I would... Oh, there's... Oh, 
Uh, we need to finish up that bottom area too. I'm, I'm kind of curious, like, what does this accomplish for us? I don't think it accomplishes. Oh, anything. He just can't be seen. Yeah, they're just too hard to deal with, I think. So, bottom area, I think, is where we sh Oh, I didn't mean to just fall. That's not good. Oh. Secret little flag. Actually, looking at the flags, we're pretty much almost done with this area. We know where the next main flag is. And there's only two main flags. Wait, can you not climb over this? Okay. okay, this guy's super low level. I guess if I really needed to go... This might be the only way back, actually, now that I think about it. You're probably supposed to slog all the way through this canyon, and then that's your way out. Although this seems like a way out, so maybe not. Actually, there seems like a lot of ways out. And if all the enemies weren't dead, some of these ways out wouldn't be very practical. But... Okay, one last guy. That gets you a golden cicada. Alright. So, we need to start wrapping up. It's a little unfortunate because I think we need to get that next flag. Because I already killed a few of the enemies that influenced that flag. And I want to go from this direction now. Is there anything else I'm missing over here? I don't think so. That was kind of awkward and in slow motion, but... It took forever to accumulate the fire on him. It does seem like when you finish the accumulation, though, you stagger them automatically. I don't know if that was just that fight, or always, but... 
Oh, there's the panda demon. There's also an extra flag right in here. I meant to dodge that. Oh, you can accumulate on people who are blocking, though. And I guess certain people accumulate faster. Like that guy, we accumulated on him very quickly. Whereas that last enemy we fought was much more difficult. So there should be a flag up here. I didn't think there would be a guy in the room with the panda demon. Are you just gonna burn to death, or what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I want to give you... This, I think, right? Or is there another four-star thing that I don't think I really need? We don't have any four-star... Oh, actually, that's a lie. We do have one four-star weapon. I think that might be the only four-star weapon we have. The Greaves, I kind of like because they have burn on them. So I'll keep those around. Was there something extra in here that I did not need? What does this do? That's kind of okay, too. This is probably unnecessary. Oh, this door opens too, probably. There's an enemy right there, though. I don't want to open it and get detected. Because that last enemy tried to detect us while we were doing that. Does it always give accessories? Gives us luck. Poison accumulation on this thing as well. We don't currently do poison, no. There should be a flag up here, I think. Yeah. I just realized I didn't even try and open the door at the bottom. I meant to at least try. I don't know if it'll have like a special ending or something if we do that. Maybe it was just going to tell me, no, you can't do that. It's a possibility. I think I want to go back and try. Is this the actual ending? Ah, this seems like the end of the mission, actually. What was that? There was like, it was like a really bad uh, animation of a rock, so it looked more like a tumbleweed just falling from the sky. Okay, well, that might. I have a feeling that's just the end of the mission. And there isn't a final boss? Maybe there is a final boss. Let me open up this door. I want to do everything, right, on this mission? So I have to do this. We need to clear out this side.
Alrighty. Oh, you didn't even notice or care or... Oh, we probably could have broken this platform maybe. This was the guy who was shooting at me for forever. So, or he, one of the two. Anything special to shoot from here? Not really. Trying to make sure we don't miss anything. <sighs> this is the other guy who has been shooting at me. Literally, I don't think I can use this for anything at all. Um, if you notice, though, this guy, like, this is what I mean, they kind of, like, led you around this level awkwardly. This guy's only 9 morale dying up here. I have 17 when I'm here, right? So, like, it's very easily to kind of, on this mission, to get yourself in a bad spot. Hello? That seems kind of like a side room, huh? Okay, you could climb up this. So we've been up here. Where's the boss at? Oh, there's the boss. That guy could potentially... Oh, wow. He almost got me because I got, like, awkwardly stuck on that ground. So I'd have to go all the way around to get a sneak attack on this boss, huh? That's probably not going to happen. you don't want to fight oh he's standing on fire now what if I can just get him to walk through the fire actually I have an idea of how I might be able to get a sneak attack on this boss first this guy needs to be dead though come on I need you to at least get to this piece of wood. Perfect. Oh! Of course. Just absolutely messed it up by being too close to him when I became visible again. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we got everything on up here, right? That let us drop on that one guy. So we grab this flag. This flag gives us a really fast run to this room over here that has some reward in it. Do I just spend my chi right now? Probably should. We got 137,000. I think we're gonna try and finish up this mission here. Okay, what am I doing? I got so many levels. I got four levels. Almost a fifth level, but... I feel like I just put it all on fire right now. 
But it's giving less damage to our weapons. We get two more damage out of going water. But that extra percent, the 2% we're getting spirit gain on attack is probably worth it. Okay, who comes back out of me doing that? Someone over there. We probably don't care. This guy comes back. Just gonna kill him for fun. deal with that guy without having to deal with the big guy, huh? See, this seems like a second way to the end. Like, are there two ways to the end, or what's going on here? I didn't expect that. Last time he did a, a three spin. I guess you can't open that. Oops. I mean, I guess the official seal is alright. It seems like maybe the gear in here is just random, so you weren't guaranteed to get something good. I don't think we can open this. So now I think the only place to go is down below. How much do I need to level up? I, only, I think I only need like 2,000 more chi to level up. What's the fastest way down below? I think this right here. Why don't I kill a few enemies, get enough chi, and then we'll go see if there's a final boss to this mission or how that's gonna work. Killed him in midair before he could hit me. That's funny. I think that's all the chi I need. So the other... The other flag was up here? Oh no, it was up there. I think the flag is down below that I'm currently looking at. Which, I guess I should go to that flag, huh? That would make a lot more sense. Oh, hello. We're just gonna try and get to, like, 30 fire for now, I think. 
Anyways, let's see what's up here. Should just be a final boss, would be my guess. That mission's kind of weird, because you can get to the final boss way before you actually complete everything on the map. Which I think is fine, as long as they're like warning you that you're about to enter the final boss, which they're not. How do you end up on another horse? Are we gonna fight someone on a horse? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. That was... Ah, that's really annoying. Wait, I, I lost all my spirit gain on him. Also, his horse is still running around. Ah, too late. He is really fast. Oh, his arrows also track. Kind of. that I thought I hit that why is he so tanky oh I thought I did that correctly I guess not that move is very hard to dodge huh okay I feel like I got cheated out of my first critical fatal blow or whatever, though. This guy seems to be more about deflecting than hitting. Oh, that's annoying. Maybe it's not that I got cheated out of it. Maybe you have to break his spirit while he's on the horse to get him off the horse. Oh, jeez. Oh, I missed it. That's annoying. Yeah, I think that's what it is. The horse still does damage to you, by the way. Oh, he spun around. Oh, okay. This guy is tough. I feel like there's something I'm doing wrong. Because, like, at that rate, it's going to take me 
knocking him off his horse at least three times, if not four. Which is a lot to do in one fight. But maybe I'm missing something. Because it seemed like all the critical blows on his horse are very easy to deflect. Um, I also didn't use the phoenix. Maybe that would have helped. But if he starts doing that, like, you don't really get any spirit drain from doing that, or him shooting arrows. Plus, for some reason, that is very difficult to dodge. can't go to his right side, you have to go left, I guess. Otherwise you miss the deflect every single time. What? I thought I deflected that, actually. I'm a little bit mad that I didn't, apparently. I died to the fire. I didn't deflect that, huh? This guy's gonna be tough. This might be a longer episode, because I want to finish this mission. Okay, now we don't have Phoenix anymore, so we'll have to build it up. We need to figure out a better strategy. I'm trying to think, because my weapons are pretty low range, so it's really hard for me to hit the horse without getting hit. Oh, I made that mistake. Wowzers. Oh, too early. Oh, it was the other move. I was waiting for him to go into the air. Block my vision. Oh, I tried to go the correct way that time. Oh my god, that move is so annoying to dodge. Oh, I thought I dodged that. That's not good. Oh, I thought I dodged that too. I think you just have to stand your ground when he does the charge instead of trying to move to the side. So annoying. Oh my goodness. We got Phoenix back, but 
He is so ridiculously annoying. All of his attacks have such odd timing. That he just like hits you with an onslaught of like fast slow moves. You have to know each one, I guess. Oh, you jerk. I wanted to get a spirit attack in, but I missed. Oh, I, every time he does that one, I'm never ready for it. This is awkward. Every time. I need to get... I can get that move down, it'll help the horse phase immensely. Oh, I healed twice when I didn't need to. I thought the first heal didn't go through. I hate that. The first arrow hit way earlier than the others. I'm so bad. Now I can't block any of these moves. What? Okay, I'm just I thought I deflected that perfectly, but I guess not. Dang. This guy is very annoying. I mean, I understand that I could probably use all the Tiger Seals we've accumulated to uh, summon one of our allies to help for this, but... I'm just trying to play with whatever ally they give me is the ally I get. And if they don't give me anything, I don't get an ally. Okay, that time I... You just gotta go for the spirit attack, I think, when he's close before he can get away. Wow, I thought I deflected that. Too early, I guess. Maybe I use the same strategy, just go for the spirit attack when he goes in. I go slower, don't spam on him. Doesn't help. Oh, what? I thought he. He broke, but then it didn't let me get the attack. Ah, uh, I missed one block, okay. Oh. so hard to deflect all of that. See, look, we only have like a third, maybe a fourth of his HP down. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Red hair. It is rare that you desire blood, I think I just need to deflect more. Oh, I forgot he does double shot now. Oh, right. He does it with that one, too. Yeah, 
Dang it. Like, I did all that, and I hardly get anything out of it. Oh, I dodged too early. That one's tough as well. What? I feel like I got that one. It's not. Just start spamming those critical blow moves. I just need to figure out how to dodge all of them. Seems like this is the kind of fight where most of your damage across the whole fight is coming from exclusively fatal strikes. You just keep trying to break his spirit, getting fatal strikes. I mean, I think most boss fights that's technically true, but most boss fights there's actually like damage windows. This guy doesn't really have a damage window. Oh, I was too slow. I'm thinking maybe switching to this might help. So I'm gonna try this. by one move because I was sitting at half HP I get hit by one move it breaks my spirit and then I die I can't move dang it maybe I need a heavier weapon for this because like like I said if my only punish window is really right when he hits me and I want to hit him with a spirit breaking attack then it should probably be like a stronger spirit breaking attack oh too early they don't do two in a row, it doesn't work. You can only do one spirit attack in a row. But maybe I want to do like these moves. Okay, this one's not a good example. Oh, too early. That's tough. That's not very much damage either. Oh my god, I, I rolled backwards, I should have rolled forwards. What? Oh, okay. I, it up. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill this boss right now. He is kicking my butt. This guy is really tough. I just don't feel strong enough. Maybe, maybe fire is not the answer because he is using fire. What if I hit him with some cold, huh? There's cold weapon out. And then what if I switched Divine Beasts to Biza? I think I'm going back with these. This is tough. Seems to be really weak and cold, actually. Oh, I didn't dodge that because I'm bad. He's so relentless. I'm stuck in a quarter. Canceled my move. Oh, I wasn't looking. Dang it. Maybe you punish with the spirit attacks instead of just the heavy attacks. Like this is. Too early. You are no near soldier. Too early. Oh, 
got him to like half. I think ice is definitely better. It's just so hard to play well against this guy, I feel like. I don't know, is ice better? It seems to, it messes up all my timings, right? Because he slows down a little bit. And then when the ice runs out, his timings are back to normal, so it's kind of like... It makes his timings even more difficult. Ah, uh, that didn't pull punish. That one you can hit both. That didn't work. That also, I felt like a timeout, right? But apparently not. Don't get carried away. That keeps happening, and I'm not sure why. I don't get what I'm doing wrong about dodging them. It feels like I'm pressing deflect and then running into the attack with my deflect. But somehow I'm getting hit. So either I'm getting hit by it before my deflect is going, or I'm getting hit by it after my deflect ends. But the after definitely doesn't feel possible. Oh, I didn't quite get the ice done. Oh my god, I need to not ever miss those, but I am. It, it must, I must have not pressed it. Yet. Like, not on time, at least. Oh, wait, I negated his fire. Okay. I used- I was dodging that perfectly before, why can I not do it now? So that's how I can negate the fire, which is good. We haven't seen that attack in a while. Too early on the second one. Oh, shouldn't have done that attack.
Dang it, I just shouldn't have done that buff, huh? Should have just gone in. Um, whenever he doesn't have the ice debuff, you can go in and build it up so quickly on him that it will stop whatever he's doing. Oh man, we have not run into anything this difficult so far. It's doable, but it's tough. I end up using all my healing before I get him to like half health, which is a problem. I just need to get like. I need to not take as much damage. That should have worked, I feel like. The rest of the fight so far are really good, really good. That was weird. That's bad. like 0.1 second too early I saw oh, that was a really good attempt though that easily could have been it if I deflected that correctly I think I killed him right there ah oh, but I spent I got too greedy with the the ice debuff I was standing right in front of him like flailing missing just barely it was so close we did so much damage to him in that first phase That was bad. Really bad start so far, but we can recover. Yeah. <laughs> 
Actually killed me, huh? I thought I was behind him, but I still took damage as he went past me. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We so we could still get this. The, yeah, the ice buff just isn't long enough. Like your time when you do it, you have to wait and deflect. It. An attack first after using it, so it feels awkward. And now he's not even doing like the thing. Thing, but I think I deflected you early. I think I know what I'm doing wrong on that, actually. I'm going to his right side, and I don't think there's an attack on his right side, so I keep getting hit. Well, my right side. I need to go to his left. It is rare that you desire blood, so. Oh, he missed. 
See what I had his health bar at there actually. I think it was only close to half. Oh, that one run in the rear view mirror. Could have been it if I didn't let nerves get to me. Here we are, extra long episode trying to kill this boss. I think we'll finish him though. He's very tough. You really have to use the mechanics of the game beat him. You can't just like beat him by raw determination, I think. I feel like I need to let him get rid of the debuff. Again, I went to my right side. Oh, wowzers. I'm just pressing all the wrong buttons right now, actually. I was trying something else. I was trying to throw in more of that spinning forward spirit attack, but I kept pressing right trigger to do it and instead just buffing my weapon with ice, which I had just used my Divine Beast for, so that was completely pointless. I feel like most of our spells here are not worth anything, so I don't know if I should have a different spell. Maybe a long-range ice spell, actually. Because if I just want to get frost on him, and he sits at long range a lot... Try to do it differently, that's not the answer. Oh, he 
was so close. I think I get it now. If you're too far away from him, you can't just run into it like that. I think what's happening is he grinds it on the floor for a little bit, and he doesn't use the attack when he gets to you. He uses the attack whenever he wants. <laughs> so I'm trying to dodge into him while he's doing the charge, which is a guaranteed deflect. But he's already done charging, he's swinging his weapon, and then the weapon is hitting me afterwards. Dang, I tried to get fancy with it, didn't work. got to run at him, I think, when he does that. I forgot to get a ranged thing. Huh? Dang it. sure what I did wrong, but... his remount. Interesting.
was bad. Oh my god, I'm just misdodging everything now that I'm close. I don't remember All that happening in our fight. It's been sent to Maywu Fort. <laughs> Liu Bu has escaped. Rush to Luoyang. <laughs> This guy gonna get murdered? Surely not. Okay, I don't know what that was. Mightiest of men achievement. That guy was tough. I don't know if I'm just bad or that was the first time I felt like I struggled with something a lot. Oh boy. I mean, I definitely was getting better at the fight. I feel like I was getting close to being at the point where I could beat him like 50% of the time. I don't think I was quite there yet. Most of the time when I beat a boss, I'm fairly confident that I could go back into the boss and beat it again. This one, I think I would, I need more attempts. Like I, I was, the time we won, I felt like we got lucky in some things that I shouldn't have gotten lucky in. But anyways, this is going to be a super long episode. It's about dinner time for me, so I'm looking to clean it up as soon as we can here. There's a freaking dragon. Dong Shuo has unleashed demons in Luoyang and withdrawn to Meiwu Fort. Our capital of 200 years. My men and I are going after Dong Zhou, even if it's only us. You'll have to count me out on this one. Something urgent has come up. Wait a moment! Some of us must stay and help the people! Please, allow Jen to ask the same, my lord. The only one who can set this situation right. <gasps> Is you, my warrior. Why am I the only one who can set the situation right? This village doesn't need someone who could beat up all the zombies. It's this village needs someone who can, uh, you know, put out the fires and give the people a home. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna get us. I think the next the checkpoints are right here, so. We're not going anywhere. We'll do this mission next time. We'll, we'll check it. Actually, I want to talk to Hong Jing, though. I see an item over there. I'll remember to go collect it next time. I can't believe this. This place was the picture of prosperity when I last came. The elixir Zhang Rong had. Did it end up being used for this? How does the elixir do that? Like, I don't... I thought the elixir just gave you immortality at the cost of, like, other mortal essence. We may encounter the Taoist that was riding the dragon. I did I'll see the really dragon. Careful. I'm pretty sure he'll be there. I don't know if you saw the giant dragon coming up from the palace over there. We may there. encounter the Taoist that was right. We need yeah, to be really okay. We don't have enough to level up at the moment, but we're going to take a break here. Travel. Seems like there's probably some other side battlefields, so maybe we'll be doing that next time as well. Um, I think a definite disadvantage we had in this fight was our weapons. I don't think our weapons were very good against the long range of his halberd. And his bow and all that it really made it so my only damage windows were exclusively 
find his attacks that like lunge him across the map at me deflect them then hit him then run away and then if i could it was really hard because your ice buff only lasts for 10 seconds so i essentially to ever get the ice buff stagger on him i had to use ice buff immediately deflect a move where he comes in to me and then punish him on that and usually i can't do it in one rotation unless he's standing still which i only had like one situation where that actually happened because he was standing there i ran up to him started hitting him and then he did one of his critical blows or his yeah his critical blows where he like sets up with the weapon behind himself first so it gave me a second or two extra to get some hits in on him and fully stack the ice buff and stagger him other than that it wasn't really viable unless we had the buff going from our divine beast so i mean it seems like maybe you need to be running a build where your buffs last longer because 10 seconds against a boss like that for me it just doesn't work like i hardly ever get any hits in with the actual buff up um there were some times where i would buff he'd like shoot his arrows first i'd have to deflect that first then he'd come in i'd hit him like once or twice with the buff up and then the rest of my hits were without the buff so it didn't actually start stacking it enough and by the time he came in again the buff or the debuff was pretty much already completely gone on him it was kind of awkward but anyways i am looking forward to doing more but this is going to be the end of this episode because it's super long already. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. That, I think, is the hardest boss we've fought so far. And I imagine we will fight him again in some way because he ran away. Probably next time as a monster because that's what the Taoist in Black likes to do. He likes to turn people into monsters. But that was very difficult. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time.